All right. Well, welcome everyone to Money and Meaning, Kinder Institute of Life Planning's blog, where we tell the stories of registered life planners from around the globe. My name is Laura Woodward, and I'm the Communications Director at Kinder Institute. And this is our I'm a Registered Life Planner series. I'm thrilled today to be joined by Rahul Agarwal, Founder and Principal Advisor at Advent Financial based in Mumbai, India. Welcome, Rahul. Uh, thank you, Laura, for having me. It's a pleasure. Yeah, it's a pleasure. So let's start by hearing a bit of your backstory. How did you get into financial services? Okay. So it's a bit of a long story. Uh, so I finished my MBA sometime in 2001. And that was, we were just, we were just kind of coming out of the Y2K bug. Right. So the kind of job placements which were there on campus were not exactly very great. Mm -hmm. So I had a minor stint uh, with a startup at that time. Uh, didn't really exactly kind of uh, play out the way I wanted it to. Mm -hmm. So just around that time, the insurance sector was getting privatized in India. So I just saw a lot of scope for professional financial uh, financial services in India. So that's why I thought instead of you know uh, continuing with a job to start a career in financial services, firstly as an insurance advisor. So that's how I started off. Uh, did reasonably well because I think the idea and the importance of insurance in India at that point of time was uh, grossly you know not not understood at all. Right, the importance mm -hmm. was not there. So educating people on the importance of life insurance and taking insurance for the sake of it. Uh, I mean, it took time, uh, qualified for MDRT in, uh, on uh, successive years. But then uh, three, within three or four years, I kind of got bored with it. So, you know, uh, I want to do, do something more, right? So that's when I kind of added mutual funds. Okay. Did that for two, three years, got kind of, again, kind of got bored, right? And then I sort of thought it was, you know, it was becoming more product centric. So I thought, you know, why not? Uh, go to clients with a more holistic kind of an approach right wherein you are touching uh, touching upon different aspects of their financial lives so that's how the in a very very baby step it kind of started off then along the journey as the years uh, kind of you know i mean went by gradually i found my calling in financial planning because i was able to see the kind of difference i was able to make through that process as opposed to selling a product or a mutual or, or, or insurance yeah yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So, and then what initially drew you to Kinder Institute of Life Planning in our curriculum? Okay. So I think uh, in one word, it is uh, serendipity. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, I was on the brink of uh, touching 40, I think. I think uh, so I was a part of this uh, professional networking group out here in India. Uh, they had basically invited uh, George. Okay. Yeah, so uh, there was this uh, two, uh, the seven stages uh, of money workshop which is yeah. which happened over two days right so uh, i signed up for that and there was that was followed by the five day evoke training <laughs> so around so around that time i mentioned that you know i was on the brink of 40 is that you know uh, probably by that time i would have completed about 15 odd years in the financial services mm -hmm. and there were some personal issues that also i was kind of you know grappling with so you know i was at the proverbial crossroads of life so as to speak right mm -hmm. uh wanted to understand that you know i mean how do i want to lead the rest of my life going forward both personally as well as professionally. So, I mean, as destiny would have it, you know, our paths kind of crossed. Mm -hmm. I attended the two day, wasn't a very active uh, contributor, but I mean, subconsciously probably it kind of, you know, sunk in. The five day was an eye opener, right? And it mm -hmm. was a life changing experience for me. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's how it happened. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like serendipity. I mean, just being open to those kinds of changes in your life and then to have the this coursework come through, which is totally focused on you living into what you design as a fulfilled life, uh, it probably couldn't come at a better time. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So you earned your registered life planner designation in 2019. And Correct, then yeah. uh, you started implementing financial life planning with your clients. So how did the life planning methodology impact the way that you worked with your clients? So see, I mean, uh, uh, as a part of the Evoke, we are also supposed to get life plan, right? Because there are these yeah. groups of two, right? So I think uh, I could see the difference. Even uh, you became aware of, you know, what is it that resonated with your inner self, so as to speak. Right. Mm -hmm. So I could see that in the kind of difference. And if I was able to take it to my clients, it would, you know, generally make a lot of difference. So I think in the uh, three odd years that I've been practicing uh, as a financial life planner and using that uh, approach, I call it a life centered approach to financial planning. 
so that you know people don't confuse it with the life coaching aspect of it right right, right. i mean we are, we are not therapists or life coaches so as to speak until i am not right yeah. so but i can definitely see because uh, the things that come up during uh, interviews with clients or meetings with clients are areas where normally a financial planner would not go so what is the purpose underlying that so called goal which the client is you know you are asking the client or the client is saying it to you i think once the purpose becomes clearer and articulated i mean and stated up front right i think the motivation and the energy for the client to kind of go through it and pursue it i think increases manifold absolutely yeah the, uh, the client right. feels it when they have somebody who's trained to absolutely. listen to them and understands the their their own journey that the client needs to take there's a hero's journey that you're we're allowing the client to take in the evoke process and you're their guide but they need to go through that themselves and what's cool is that we give them the energy to do that because they're they're coming up with the all of the things that they want on their own absolutely absolutely yeah okay so uh do you have a, a client success story that you'd be willing to share uh of something that happened as a result uh, of the life planning uh, <laughs> Definitely. I mean, uh, there have been success stories. I think, but I think the overarching thing which kind of comes out of this is right. I think uh, the sheer freedom which clients experience and the possibilities. Mm -hmm. I think, right? Yeah. So okay, fine. Now that this is possible, so I mean, what we call the aha moment in the trainings, right? So yeah, it's that. Right? Okay, this was possible. I never thought that it could happen this way, right? So I think uh, that is there. So I mean, in terms of uh, a specific success uh, success story. so one of the earliest uh, life planning times uh, that i had so i mean as a part of the discovery meetings and the subsequent work that we did with the client what came out very very strongly for the client was that uh, he had only one daughter right mm -hmm. and uh, within 3 or 4 years she would kind of you know go to the i mean go abroad for studies right and subsequently probably you know she will get on with her life get married or whatever right they said i effectively only have these 3 uh, 4 years to spend with her right yeah. so i mean uh, is i mean the idea or the anxiety or what he really wanted was is a early retirement even possible he was at a very senior position in a uh, mm -hmm. multinational company right so uh, it's very difficult to kind of let go of that fat paycheck right sure. and, the, and the and the kind of comfort that kind of comes with it but i think as a outcome of the work that we did uh, i think after completion of the work that we did for the client i think within 6 months or so the client uh, uh, retired from active work wow. yeah yeah and uh, did uh, some he started off with some freelance kind of an activity and i mean he anyways had accumulated i think enough financially otherwise also right it's just that i mean that uh, courage of that uh, conviction was not there right yeah like what 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 truly matters what matters more right so yeah absolutely yeah and so yeah. then he was able to spend that quality time that he had with his Absolutely. daughter because it was limited and he knew that she had you know her own life to live but he had Absolutely. only a few years wow yeah, that's yeah. that's really meaningful yeah, um, yeah, yeah and it sounds like with the even with the freelance work he was able to maybe make um something uh maybe not equal but like significant in order to Absolutely. live into the life that he wants as well Absolutely Absolutely Very cool that's a great story <laughs> So one of the things that happens as a result of uh becoming a registered life planner is that you also are personally life planned. It's important to us that the life planner is also living into their own life plan. So what what came out of this process for you personally? Yeah, so uh, like I said, I mean uh, as a part of the evoke training, I mean we uh, I mean I was also life planned by my partner. Yeah. Uh, so as I said, I mean, a lot of things kind of you know uh, got laid out pretty clearly, right? In terms of, or there was clarity around that. Obviously, there was some more thinking around that, which happened. But I think both on a from a personal uh, standpoint, right, uh, made peace with a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and on the professional side of things as well, I think uh, very clearly that it came out that this is the kind of work that I want to want to do. As I said, mm -hmm. I was already 15 years into the profession, right, and I was not exactly enjoying what I was doing. I mean, mm -hmm. selling the same product and going about things in the usual kind of a way, and we're not actually truly kind of you know making any discernible impact in the lives of the person that of the people that you're kind of serving, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think that became very clear that I will make uh, life planning an integral part of my engagement process with clients. Right. Yeah. So I think that became I think etched very very firmly, and that is by default you know the opening conversation that we have with prospective clients as well. So we try to explain it to them that okay, I mean this is what we do, and this is why we do it, 
and this is how we feel that you can benefit out of it as opposed to you know just you know working on the numbers mm-hmm. i mean if i if i may just take a couple of minutes more of your time oh, okay. uh, uh, very recently so there's, there's this client i've been kind of working and uh, with a sizable investment portfolio right uh, for about uh, i was handling for about 5 7 years now and he's been, he'd been kind of putting off i'd spoken to him about kind of you know doing this lifetime engagement but he'd been putting it off because you know uh, either people are afraid to be vulnerable so as to speak right mm-hmm. uh, so he was just, just kind of putting it off uh, when i did the three questions with him the kind of stuff that kind of came out you know blew me away because i could now see a human being a throbbing heart so as to speak mm-hmm. right instead of just the balance sheet of that person mm-hmm. and just by understanding that i think the conversation goes in a completely different direction and i think you respect the human being and not the money which is what george also kind of keeps on talking about right so i think it's fantastic yeah. so i just wanted to share that uh, yeah no that's another fantastic story because it is we're, what we need is to see the human yeah uh, and then allow the the human's resources to support who they want to be and what they want to deliver into the world. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a great story. Um, so uh, what is like one piece of advice that you wish uh, that you knew maybe as you were starting out as a life planner or that you'd like to share with uh, life planners who are just starting out <laughs> uh, that would help them along the way? Uh, just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> just shut up and listen. <laughs> Uh, it's true, and don't, it's yeah, yeah. I don't, don't, uh, don't think that you're the smartest person in the room, right? Mm. And, and don't take anything for granted. I mean, let the person speak and let the client. Ultimately, it's not your, it's not your plan. It's the client's plan. Absolutely. So unless the client believes in it, I mean, there's going to be zero follow through. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is our client's why? Why, yeah. And then once the why is in place, I think the hows and the whats they kind of work themselves out. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. like the client actually needs someone who's trained to help them articulate their why. Uh, and that's what we, we train registered life planners to do. It's the listening skills, the empathy, the inspiration. And we have the structure in place, but ultimately it's a human to human conversation and relationship that we're helping to, to forge. Yeah, very yeah. cool. So, so what is next in your own life planning journey? Uh, I mean, you mean professionally or personally? Either way, however you'd like to take it. I, I think uh, personally, I mean, things are in place. I think it will be uh, more on the professional side. So, I mean, I think I have a very clear goal that mm-hmm. over the, probably I plan to work for the next, actively work for the next 10 years, mm-hmm. right? And at least uh, bring about a meaningful change in the lives of 100 families uh, through this entire process. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, if I can even uh, help them, this is what I tell my clients and prospective clients also when I'm speaking with them, that I'm not promising you a miracle right but i mean even if i'm able to bring about a tangible benefit a meaningful uh, change in your lives for the better by even five percent or ten percent i think i would have done a great job at least i'll be sad i'll be happy with that yeah absolutely and just yeah. imagine they would be happy too uh absolutely. to have access to that oh beautiful so anything else that you'd like to share <laughs> uh the quintessential anything else yes. <laughs> no i i just i just feel uh, i think two things i i wish i was introduced to this uh, much earlier in my life mm-hmm. right probably would have been able to make a much greater impact and i think uh, i i i you know i i i listen to a lot of podcasts and read about this field so there mm-hmm. are people who pay kind of lip service to this as well right and using it more as a marketing kind of a tool and i think the kinder method is rock solid so whatever kind of the, the way George kind of thought about it and, you know, structured the program is beautiful, right? Mm-hmm. So I just wish I I was introduced to this earlier and I wish that, you know, more people embrace it. I think it takes time. I think you have to dedicate yourself to it yeah. and not give up and stay the course. And I think be a learner. I think even today, I, I mean, as I said, I keep on trying to learn and improve my skills, listening skills and so on. Right. So I think it's very important. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think, yeah, be a student. I think, yeah, that's uh, that's most important. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, this was such a pleasure, Raul. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me and share your own personal journey, as well as uh, kind of the the light that you're bringing to all of your clients uh, with everyone around the world. Thank you. Thank you so much, Laura. You have a good day.